What is this? What are you doing here? I'm about to tweet on Spartacus's Twitter page. Cute Spartacus. Oh, wow. He doesn't follow people. He only follows animals like horses, mm. hamsters, cats, dogs. Look at this one says, hey, Spartacus, can I be your bitch today? Well, there's <laughs> some people that's actually looking to be Spartacus' girlfriend. He yeah. gets a lot of chicks on Twitter. Speaking of. <gasps> oh, she's so sugar cute. Mom. That's sugar lump. Sugar lump with the tutu. I'm through. Maybe we should pick a girlfriend for Spartacus. Look at, ooh, see? He wants to lick it. Spartacus is balling on Twitter. He has, like, over 17,000 followers. <laughs> he got more followers than me on Twitter. How many followers you got, Soji? Only, like, two. <laughs> Where are you showing off your booty naughty? I don't know. I got, I got to go to Jimmy Fallon next week. You do? Oh, don't worry about it, Kelly. They're going to start giving you these memos. You're going to pick up a paper, and it's going to say, you'll be on Jimmy Fallon tonight. Oh, baby, I sing with the roots. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Law and Order is my second family. I've been with them for 13 years. I see these people almost every day. Family wasn't a big part of my life, you know, being an orphan at such a young age. But now, being a part of Law and Order, it's like the family I never had. <laughs> you crazy, Bell. I'll see you on the weekend. I'll see All you right. over the weekend. All right, All right my man. Belzer's been my partner for 13 years. He's the triple OG, my mentor, teaches me a lot of things that I wouldn't know. Hey, baby. Arishka is an honest to God sweetheart. She keeps that show going. I got Dan Florek, he's incredible. Kelly Giddish, she's fun. She's got a dog named Franny who seems to have a thing for Spartacus. So we got a little love connection there. And everybody gets along with Coco, so it's beautiful. Spartacus finally Boyfriend. has a girlfriend. a girlfriend. Look at that butt, she's showing off the oh. butt. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I just don't know how I feel lately. You know, I've been getting queasy and, you know. What do you mean queasy? Just not really eating a lot. So I don't know how I'm going to feel when I go to Jimmy Fallon. I honestly want you on set. All right, I, I'm dizzy right now because they calling me this set. So I'll see you in a minute. I love right. you. Bye. All right. No, I'm talking. I was dizzy. I'm, like, lightheaded. You should definitely find out why you're not feeling good. Really? Yeah. If you're you queasy think? and dizzy, yeah. Could you be pregnant? Dude. No. What's going on when you're acting strange? What's the matter? I was taking a pregnancy test. A what? I know, don't get all freaked out. How are you pregnant? Aren't you on the pill? Of course I am. Kelly just got it in my head when we were on the set that I might be pregnant, so why not Are you try pregnant? It? I'm reading it right now, honey. It says, wait three minutes. So when you see a plus sign right there. How could you get pregnant when you're on the pill? See, I said, this is why I don't tell you this kind of stuff. You getting all huffy and puffy. God, I'm getting hot. Even though I said I'm not ready to have a baby right now, it is a little exciting to think I might be pregnant. Because you're about to find out something that may change the rest of your life. And then you just have to figure out how you're going to deal with that. That's one of the the puzzles of life. As much as we try to organize it and plan it, it just doesn't go like that. What does it say now? Does that look like a triangle or something? Triangle, that means you're not even having a, a, a human. Are you supposed to shake it? No, don't shake it. What? You're going to make it do something that it's not supposed to do. Put that thing down smooth. OK. All right. What's that say? What is it changing? If it's a plus, it's pregnant. What does it say now? What is it? I can't look. Minus, you're not pregnant. I think that something's going wrong with you a little bit. It's stressing you out even more. Go to the doctor, have somebody give you correct diagnosis. Okay. And you'll be all right. Oh, my heart is still fluttering. Coco, we're here. Is my baby here? Ice is going on Jimmy Fallon this week. And Christy and Derek decided to come to New York because they're big fans of Jimmy's. Baby Austin's in New York! And they brought along baby Austin, which I haven't seen since he was born. Oh, honey! 
Don't you want to eat a chunky butt? No. Let's eat, 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 eat. I mean, he's cute, but I don't, I don't, I don't feel the desire to eat the baby. <laughs> oh, you, oh, I forgot to tell you this. I took a home pregnancy test, but it came back negative, so it wasn't anything big. I just had to tell you that. They're not always right. I've had friends who took the pregnancy test. It came up negative, and then when they went to the doctor, they found out that they were. Oh, shit. All I'm saying is don't totally rule it out until you go to the doctor. I was on the pill when I got pregnant with him. <laughs> she was on the pill with you? Yes. Oh, pill baby. No. Pill baby. I wouldn't mind having a little Austin, no? I wouldn't mind having one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that? just so damn cute. Say yes, give me a cousin. Mm. Smells like somebody pooped. Oh, I think it's time for Ice to change his diaper. What? Ice, do you want to change my diaper? Do I want to change the <laughs> oh, diaper? <yes>. No. <laughs> You nervous? Just being in this room is giving me anxiety. I had a little blood work done the other day. My sister thinks that I might be pregnant, but if I'm not pregnant, then I still have to figure out what's going on with me. Well, thank you for being here for me. I'm sure you're fine. Hopefully you're just pregnant. How hard is it just to give me a niece or nephew? I did promise you when I was 24 years yeah. old that our babies would grow up together. Hello. Hi. Hi. Costa. How are you? I'm very nervous. No needles today. No needles? No okay, needles. Okay, I did look around. Just talking. We got the results of the test that we okay. wanted done. Mm -hmm. And um, so you're not pregnant. Oh. If I'm not pregnant and I still have these symptoms, I still have something wrong with my body. It's just a, it's an awful, awful feeling. Okay. But your blood pressure is extremely high. It's very high. There's something, clearly it's not normal that you have such high blood pressure, so we have to rule out all the dangerous causes and treat them if we need to. Was your heart racing? Lightheaded? Okay? We have to figure out what's wrong. Okay? We have to take this seriously. Okay, so we're still at 170 over 100. What's the normal? Yeah. 110, 120 over 70. When I heard I had high blood pressure, I thought, Okay, a lot of people have high blood pressure, but the more the doctor explained things, I realized this is a little bit more serious than I thought. If you're 40 or 50 walking around with these strange symptoms, you'd be in the emergency room being ruled out for a heart attack. That's why they call it the silent killer. You're lucky the he pushed you to come. silent killer? I automatically thought, I'm gonna be dying tomorrow. I gotta figure out what's going on with my body. Clearly, it's not normal that you have such high blood pressure, so we have to rule out all the dangerous causes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one more test mm -hmm. we have to do, which mm -hmm. I think the MRI of your kidneys. An MRI? It's good if you take your sister along, because it is kind of claustrophobic, but we'll know everything by the end of this week, and then we'll deal with what we have to deal with. You looking for Spartacus? Is that what you're looking for? Hey! There's hey. my baby. There's mommy. Mm. You guys do know we gotta get to Fallon, right? Ice is getting ready right now. Okay, sorry. Sorry to cut it short. Wanna show mommy boxing? Watch. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm crossed. Yeah. Hey, baby. What's up? What did the doctor say? Are you pregnant? No, but she looked at okay. me when she took my blood pressure and she's like, you know, someone at 40 years old walking around what you have right now probably would be able to have a heart attack. What? Yeah. She's like, well, there's things we got to do. I have to get an MRI. I'm like nervous about it. You got to do whatever you have to do to make sure you're healthy. So you got to listen to the doctors. My job is to keep Coco calm. If she thinks something's wrong, she could potentially panic. So I have to maintain cool and calm. But inside, I'm worried too, whether I act like it or not. I think a lot of your high blood pressure has to do with your stress. Coco, you sure you want to go to Fallon? Yeah, Christy and Derek really want to go. Oh, yeah, you know. yeah. First thing I look is for the food. It's going to be so funny. We're at Jimmy Fallon, and Christy and Derek were all in the green room having a great old time, except me. I'm constantly thinking about the MRI. You know, what do I have? Do I have a disease? Do I have cancer? You can make yourself crazy with that thing, Coco. When the doctor tells you to do something, you just follow instructions. They're professionals. Coco immediately decides to go on the internet. The internet is full of quacks. 
you kind of know when they're quacks and when they're not quacks. I got friends that okay. are doctors that aren't doctors. There's actual... That's just like you're getting an answer from, like, Dr. Dre. I'm just trying to do a little research. You know, all these like, really allergies, anxiety disorders, arthritis, asthma, back pain, bipolar disorder. That's it. Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is pain of an undetermined origin. <gasps> I have fibromyalgia. You don't have fibromyalgia. Try this one out. Look this up. Hypochondria. This is Law & Order SV. This is 12th, your 12th season? Uh, I came in the last episode of the first season, so you could call it 13. And still Mariska, you know, we, we got, uh, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Kelly Giddish. Kelly Giddish, yes. Lord have mercy, that's it. That's now I gotta go back to the that's set. Right. <laughs> yeah. length for your hair right here, but I prefer it a little shorter, more like that buzz cut look, okay? I saw Belzer today, too. I was cutting his hair, and apparently he is uh, kind of pissed with you. For what? For something about you was on Jimmy Fallon and you didn't mention his name? He's mad? Yeah, he pissed. Somebody would get mad because I didn't say their name? Hell yeah. Well, especially if you naming everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say your name. If you would have named hair and makeup and didn't say my name, we'd be having some Will make you want to go pee or something, yeah. or is it just my nervousness? Are you nervous for Coco too? Do you have to? Does it make you have to pee? This is like really nerve wracking. I just couldn't make my MRI appointment because he was working on a set of Law and Order, so I brought my second husband along, Solji. Can they actually see if like I have cancer or something? I think so. She's always had it in her mind that she's had cancer since we were like kids, and she wrote a will. When I wrote she was a 10 will. Years old. Saying who was gonna get what outfit and what shoes. <laughs> but you know what? Our grandma died because of a doctor. Wow. Oh, Lord. Coco, we're ready for you. You are? Yes. You can do this. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Well, don't do that. I go into the MRI, and that's when it hit me. Something must be really wrong with me. You're gonna be going in feet first, and I'm gonna ask you to hold your breath for me. The reality of being around the hospital, there's sick people in here. They're not in here and they're healthy. I'm one of those sick people. We do different sequences. Does it hurt? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm freaking out right now. I haven't lost one yet. I was like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> I go into the MRI, and I was really nervous. If my sister was not there holding my hand, I don't know what I've done. All right, take deep breath in now. Hold it. And now I have to wait two days for the results. It's the unknown. That's what's scary. Let's get quiet on the stage, please. We're rehearsing. It's your last scene, Dan? Yep. Yeah, it is. I'm done, too. Let me ask you something. You think Bells is mad at me, man? He's not talking to me like usual. Why would he be mad at you? Because I didn't say his name on Fallon. He hasn't been talking to me. I mean, he always looks like that. Like, he's, you know, he's got to take a dump, right? <laughs> right. Don't worry about him. Yes, sir. I'm getting to the bar. All right, my man. When it comes to the work family, you don't want drama. At any moment, you can cross a line and somebody will get pissed. So my job is let's, let's keep the peace. And you might have to apologize sometime. How you doing? I got my special shoe. Your boat heels. <laughs> Thank you. It was Chrissy and Derek's last night in town, so a great way to get Coco's mind off of this MRI drama was to uh, charter this yacht. You know, just take us for a little trip out around the island. That's right, Chris. This is the New York life. Live it up. <laughs> this is the New York life. Last time we were on a boat, she had a baby. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, Chris. Oh, Such right. a liberty. 
I gotta go back to work tomorrow, so that's gonna be drama because I gotta deal with that Belzer. Yeah, what's going on with that? Oh yeah, it's I ain't say Belzer's name on Jimmy Fallon. The problem is Belzer's a trickster. I'm anxious. You have to call me, like, right away, because I'm anxious to find out the results. Yeah, she's going to dwell on that. Everything is perfect. It's a beautiful evening, but I can't stop thinking about my MRI results. At the same time, I'm in the loving arms of ICE, and I just feel perfectly safe there with him. I'm just nervous about getting these test results back. But thanks for uh, being positive about it and staying right there next to me and supporting me. I mean, I know in my heart you're going to be OK. But I still don't have the results. So until then, you're going to be on pins and needles for a minute. Yes. You carry a lot of stress, and you're going to make worry yourself sick. You're going to be OK. You busy? No, I'm just chilling, getting ready to go home. What's up? You know, earlier this week when I was on Fallon and I didn't mention your name, I've been thinking about it, and I would never do that intentionally, Bells. You know, I... I do what intentionally? Forget to say your name or, you know... Are you trying you know, to apologize? Is that what this is all about? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. I told Coco you were playing. Are you serious? You think I'd be upset about you forgetting my name, man? You could, brother, you could shoot me. I would <laughs> even have to apologize. Are you serious? But it's nice to know you feel that way about me. My dude. That's cool. Oh, my God. So you, you do care. My dude. All right. All right, all right Bells. I'm going to start. See you tomorrow. See all right. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow, baby. All right. Remember my name now. Out. You get these MRI results, and hopefully it'll show you what's going on, you know? Why are you pulling on my finger? Are you nervous? I don't want to ever have to go through a test ever again. You may have to. Do they do a brain scan? What if you got a hematoma? Honey. I'm just playing with you to try to keep your spirits up. I know. I'm, I'm trying to. You'll be all right. Didn't we make a plan we're going to grow old together? It's true. Right? Hello. Hi. Nice hey. to meet you. Hello. Hi. I have your lab results. You ready? Yes, I am. Your heart is not enlarged. Your kidneys are normal. Your gallbladder's normal, no gallstones. But, Coco, we don't know yet why you have extremely high blood pressure. Mm hmm the doctor came back and says that I have extreme high blood pressure, and we can't figure out why. So I'm a little freaked out at this point. We have to treat it. We have to get it under control. Eventually, it leads to stroke, heart attack. You cannot get pregnant with high blood pressure. It's not, it's not good for the baby. It's not good for the pregnancy. It's not good for you. It's dangerous. OK. The doctor is telling me you have a serious problem. And I'm all about, OK, if it is, what is it? Let's let's get it done. Let's get out of the way. If I have to take medication, what, what do I need to do? Because I feel like I'm gearing towards that time in my life where I should have a baby. So we have to get that under control before you guys start planning a family. I mean, you guys, you want to have a healthy baby. So overall, we have to get your blood pressure under control. Mm -hmm. We have to take this seriously. It is good. I mean, finally, you got some answers. Well, I was actually super surprised because all my organs came out perfect. You know, the main thing that bothered me when we were sitting there is when she told me, I cannot have kids right now. Yeah. That really bothered me. It would bother anybody. And just the fact that now she says you can't, that's scary. Well, at least you have time now to get mm -hmm. your diet together and try to eliminate a little bit of the stress at a time. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to do that. You could do it. You could do it. Well, you know what this means. When she tells me I have to be healthy. Yeah. Now it's going to be obsession over health. Well, there's nothing wrong with obsessing over I'm health. I'm going to go completely psycho now. It doesn't hurt the fact that you're with me, with, <sighs> and I'm a perfect physical specimen. Oh, God. Absolutely. I'm Gray's Anatomy. All right. Come give me some sugar, sugar. I don't want to raise your blood pressure. 
this season on Ice Loves Coco. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Woo! Here we go again. <laughs> Aloha! Watch out, big way! <laughs> I want little miniature Spartacuses. Spartacus is the impregnator. <laughs> We're gonna start a family. We need baby room. I suggest getting another house. Whoa, 13,000 square feet. Jeez, I don't think we would need to save because all my money will be gone. This is it. This is sold. <gasps> if we're gonna have a baby, I gotta get my health under control. What's going on with your blood pressure? Not so good. Why are you giving me that look? I need to be in Arizona for my sister. You are the couple that you're never apart, and never. it's crazy that it's changing. I'm not prepared to be gone from my husband for two months. This is a life moment, and I don't want you to turn down anything. I just miss you. Your dad has sensitivity. See, my dad's starting to get into the whole family thing. I like to say that you brought out in him. I don't want anything to happen to you. And you got to be by my side. I'm always by your side. Wow, Coco, you doing your thing. No, 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 but this is this is a healthy dog. I'm sorry, baby.